everyone. <laughs> Are you? Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Anna and I do makeup and skincare videos on my channel. And for those of you who are returning, hello y'all, what is up? So as you can see on my face, we are going to be talking about these multi-masking things that I have going on here. Um, I asked on my Instagram, no, probably a while ago. It's probably like a month ago. If people wanted to see me try other skincare products, because you know I started out with my Mary Kay, because I am a Mary Kay consultant, Mary Kay plug. Um, so I was doing a lot of those. But I asked people if they wanted to see other ones or what would they suggest for my channel. And one of the girls responded and said that I should try out the formula 10.0.6. So I went to Ulta and I picked up this multi-masking kit from them and that is what I have on my face right now. I've got a couple different ones on my face. Um, so I am going to just kind of talk about them and then at the end we will pull them off, wash them off and see what we got. But before we continue, please make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that button. It is right down below. It is red. Make sure it is gray by the time you finish this video. Yes, please and thank you. All right, but without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so like I said, Formula 10.0.6 multi-masking kit. Picked it up at Ulta. I think it was like, I don't know, $10 maybe. I'm guesstimating. I'll put it down below. I have no idea. Um, but yeah so it's a multi-masking sampler kit so these are like the little to-go sizes all of these come in regular sizes um but i just wanted to try them out since i was trying the ordinary skincare i didn't want to add anything skincare wise in because i will be having a fenty skin review coming soon so i was trying to finish that first so you guys stay tuned for that i know i'm a little late but i had to finish one thing before i started the other thing so yeah um but in here there are six little masks. Okay, and so we'll take them out one by one and kind of see what the box says. So this first one is the Seaside Glow Skin Hydrating Pill Mask. Um, pretty self-explanatory. It doesn't really say anything on the back as to what they do individually, but you can kind of figure it out. It's a skin hydrating pill mask. And that one I actually have right up here on the top you can't really see it it's starting to dry already but it did go on like a lightish blue color and this is a peel off mask um and basically for all of these it just says apply to freshly cleansed and dried skin smooth a thin coating over the face avoiding the neck yada 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 leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes until it dries and then peel off so that is the first one so i figured i'd do a little hydration up on here um, and then, oh, before I forget, so there's six of them. Three of them on this side are the uh, peel off mask. This one is just the gel mask, and these two are mud masks on this side. So these two you would peel off, these two you would just wipe off with water. off. This one is the Get Your Glow On Skin Brightening Peel Mask. There's that little guy. It's a skin brightening pill mask. Um, ooh, did that one say? Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, but we'll go back. Um, this has papaya and citrus. Oh, it does say it on here on the little print I didn't read. It says this radiance boosting pill revitalizes tired skin in minutes. Smooth on, sit tight, then peel off to remove dead skin cells, unclog pores, and vanish breakouts. Powerful papaya. Help. Okay. It does a lot of stuff. It's got papaya and citrus. Look it up is what they do um this one i have on my cheeks down here it just went on clear so it's on my cheeks and on my chin so we're trying to glow those cheeks the ones on my face <laughs> um <laughs> yeah uh and back to this one real quick so this one has algae and sea clay in it and this one um 
it says this hydrating pill mask dives deep to deposit a nourishing moisture barrier. Marine algae delivers nutrients to hydrate and condition while sea clay minimizes the look of pores and soaks up unwanted oils. Behold, a dazzling seaside glow. <laughs> Y'all, it's late. Um, all right, the next one, which I hope will be my favorite because I definitely need this where I put it, is the Draw It All Out Skin Detoxing Peel Mask. This one is the one that I've got here because I've got oil and my pores get big so I put it on my nose and in this area this is where I get the most oily throughout the day. This one has charcoal and plum in it and it says this peel works like a supercharged magnet to attract and bind dirt that is clogged deep within your pores. Bamboo charcoal and wild plum work quickly to detox pores and gently exfoliate, go deep and draw it all out. So, we'll see. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that's this little guy right here. Um, and then the last one that I have on my face now is the Keep Your Cool Skin Calming Gel Mask. So this is not a peel off. This is the one I have here right underneath my eyes. So, you know, we get that puffiness and stuff underneath our eyes. So I figured this would help keep them cool and calm and refreshed. Um, this one has coconut and cucumber. 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 The cucumber. Or as they call it in Jamaica, cucumba. Cucumba. It has coconut mm. <laughs> and cucumba in it. And it says this unique gel mask helps reduce the appearance of nasty breakouts. Coconuts soothe blemishes while refreshing cucumba helps calm even the most angry of flare ups. The results skin is cool, calm, and under control. And what do they say? And that's on period poo. <laughs> the next one is Pores Be Pure Skin Clarifying Mud Mask. And I will show you guys this one because I don't actually have it on my face. All right, so let's see if I can get a look at that one. Here, I'll put some on my hand. All right, so that's what this guy looks like. It's just the nice clay looking mask. Um, a nice thick consistency kind of it's not like sticky or anything um, and it doesn't really smell like anything either so this one like I said is the pores be pure skin clarifying mud mask this one has strawberry and yarrow yarrow y-a-r-r-o-w never heard of that before let's see if they tell me what it does it says the skin refining mask with berry boosters go straight to work on clogged pores. Strawberry and rosemary eliminate impurities while yarrow clarifies skin for instant complexion perfection. So yeah, I'll have to look up what yarrow does. I, I've never heard of that before in my life. I wish it would have smelled like strawberries. Oh, I guess it does kind of have like a pinkish tint to it. You can't really see that on the camera, but it does look a little pink. But that's that one. And last but certainly not least, we have the Deep Down Detox Ultra Cleansing Mud Mask. There's that little guy. And then I will, right, I will take this one out so you guys can also see what it looks like. This one kind of has a smell. Oh, it looks pretty much the same. That. I'll put it on my hand too. Oh no, now wait a minute. This one's a little bit pinker. I lied. Ooh, this one's thicker too. Feels really nice though. It's really fun. And I don't know. Yeah, the lighting in here. You guys, I like moved, but we're going back to my house this weekend and I left all my ring lights and stuff there. Um, I'll probably have it by the time this video goes up, but yeah, that's why the last couple videos I looked a little wonky because I don't have my ring lights. But anyways, uh, yeah, so that's what that one looks like. Um, that's cool. And it, on it, it is orange plus bergamot. Heard of bergamot, if I even said that right, but I don't know what it does. 
It says this super cleansing detox mask cleanses impurities for a clearer, brighter complexion. The energy of orange recharges while sea salt cleanses and bergamot balances. Your face will notice the difference. So, yeah, so that's that one. Um, and it does, that one actually smells like orange. Ooh, that smells good. I'll definitely be using one of those after. But that is all of the masks. I don't know, I should look that up on my phone. I don't know if these are the only ones that they carry. But, ooh, I can tell you if I can find the Iota. And I think we're almost dry. This one in the middle is a little... But I feel like these are all dry. Let's look up formula 10.0.6. So, what's the face scrub? Oh, the sampler kit was $12.99, by the way. So they have, um, this line has face washes, uh, moisturizers, masks like we were looking at. Um, they have ones with SPF for the moisturizers. They have cleansing oils, foot scrubs pore strips so they're basically like a full line um the girl that oh they even have face wipes um the girl that suggested i try this she says she uses it and she loves it so i'm hoping that the face masks are worth it but if you can see this one is starting to dry um i mean this one's probably good enough to pull off so is this one and this one here um we're just gonna wipe off so We'll start at the bottom. I haven't done a pill mask in so long. I love these things. Ooh, maybe it'll fill off easy. Ew. It's actually super, super duper satisfying. So there's that one. The snake skin from underneath. And I will say that it looks like it pulled out some white heads can't really see it I won't be able to show you my camera's not that great but it did pull out my heads and it pretty much came off that little spirit right there was still wet but it came off in one swoop which like never happens so that's nice um all right let's try for the one up here the seaside glow Oh, it's going to take off the charcoal too because it kind of got connected, so that's cool. Let's do it all at once. Ooh, Ooh that one definitely pulled out a white head. Ew. I don't know if you can see it with my camera focus. Come on, camera, you can do it. It's not going to. It's too small. But it pulled out a white head on my nose. Foy off. It came off. I don't know if anybody else finds it super satisfying, but I do. And then um, I am going to just grab a towel quick and wipe off the rest of this. Alright guys, so I am back. My memory card got full. I don't feel like going to unload it. I only have one memory card, so I'm doing the rest of this on my cell phone, holding it super ratchet, but we're gonna finish this. So I got a towel, and like I said, I was gonna rub or get off the rest of this hydrating mask. So I'm going to go completely rinse my face off and then I will be back for reviews. Okay, so I'm back. I just rinsed everything off of my face. Excuse the background noise. My sister's in here too. Side note, look at her mask. It's one of those yes to, oh, where is it down there? Ah, it is the yes to it's grapefruit amazing. and it's a unicorn mask. I'll be trying that soon too. It's amazing. She says it's amazing. It well, looks great. It just looks cool. I don't know if she does anything yet. Uh, okay, back to what we're talking about. So um, I haven't moisturized just yet. 
um, but my face does feel really, really smooth. Um, right in here where I had that pull out one, definitely feel that it's super dry right now. Um, sorry, I'm getting close to my mirror so I can see. Um, like I said, it pulled out whiteheads. I can see some that are like sticking up that are ready to, you probably can't see that. Nope, but they're sticking up. Like if I did a good scrub, I could probably get some of those out. Um, but otherwise my face feels really soft and smooth. So yeah, I think they're, they're pretty good. Um, so overall the four that I did use, the Seaside Glow, get your glow on, draw it all out and keep it cool. I could use those again. Um, let me know down below if you guys want to see me try the two mud masks. Um, either way, if you say yes or no, I'm going to do it anyway. But if you want to see it on video, let me know. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to moisturize my face and then hit the hay. Okay, so I just noticed something else. Um, after I took this off, like I said, I haven't put on any moisturizer yet. My face is super dry. Like, mm, it's really, really dry and ashy looking. I feel like for the hydrating one, I don't know if it should be that dry. It's not dry where I did the like gel mask. That actually feels really good, but all down here is super, super dry. So just wanted to throw that in. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching me struggle through this with my camera problems and whatnot. But uh, again, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in another one. Peace!